Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to create a dynamic distribution list, which only include all the active users' mailbox. This means it will not include the you know the resource mailbox or shared mailbox, and also for the user mailbox, which user account is disabled. So, if we check the you know Active Directory, we check this. Uh, go to the domain controller. We see this Jack Smith is uh, Jack Williams account is also disabled. So and also if we go to the you know Office three six five, we go to the Exchange mailbox. We see there are some you know active user mailbox here, and also there are shared mailbox like HR finance. These are shared mailbox, and also we have a resource mailbox like you know meeting room eight zero one eight zero two eight three zero three team meeting Zoom meeting a double booking meeting room mailbox. So let's see how can we create a distribution list. Which only include the active users, you know, mailbox. So if I go to the groups, and then we go to the dynamic distribution list, we want to add a group. So I just select the dynamic distribution, and then I click next. Then I just put this one as all active users. Put like this and put the you know description as the same or active users with uh, mailbox. So I just click next. So in this type, we just uh, we need to select which type we should use. So I want to use the users with exchange mailbox. So that's what we want. We want the active users with the exchange mailbox. We don't want to select the other things. And then if we want to select the condition, we see there's no much we can select, like only select the state or province or company or department, you know, custom attribute. So we just click next. And we put this uh, group email address as uh, all active users so I just click next create group so class so you see we create a group named all active users if we go there I will see this So they are doing not a commit yet. Just refresh active users. So we see the members. It shows you know only say that like this uh, type of which we did when we created the dynamic distribution list. Only select like the users with exchange mailbox. So if we go to the exchange uh, part here, and then we see which user are in this group, we just go there, we connect to exchange part here, we just uh, go to the, go there. I run two commands below, you know, the first one is to get the you know dynamic distribution group, which name is all active users, and the second one is get the recipient, which you know, the members of the dynamic group, and select shows the display name and the primary SMTP you know addresses. So we can see HR, which is the you know shared mailbox, is also showing in the list, and also meeting room. And also we we can see the you know Jack Williams the user account is also is already disabled. However, it's still showing in the list. So how can we just show the you know active users with mailbox not showing the you know the resource mailbox shared mailbox and also disabled users? So let's see what we can do. 
we just run the add command. The first command we want to write is this one. So I create a new filter, you know, equals this uh, recipient type details equals user mailbox. So this means only user mailbox. And also I add another one is not exchange user account control equals account disabled. So if I click this one, So I just want to show you how why we needed to select this option. So if I select the you know get mailbox HR at CCQ twenty twenty dot Microsoft dot com So you see this one is the shared mailbox. When we select this uh, show details, it shows this, you know, is a shared mailbox. Receiving the type of details is shared mailbox. So if I select the, you know, resource mailbox, for example, meeting room 801, so it shows the room mailbox. Then if we select the user, you know, like David Smith. So it shows user mailbox. I just want to select user mailbox. So the other one is I want to see, show you the, you know, for the David, uh, Jack Williams, we just want to see. Uh, so there, I, I show the account. So you see the for the David Smith, the exchange user account control is none. But if I select the Jack Williams, so it says. For Jack Williams, the exchange user account control is shows account disabled because the account, user account is disabled. So I just run this command now, just select the filter, the new filter. So this one I want to run. And then I apply the new filter to this, uh, to this uh, dynamic mailbox distribution list. Just select this one. Now, if I run this, you know, I want to see which user account, because before that, every user mailbox, a shared mailbox, a disabled user mailbox, and, uh, you know, resource mailbox are all showing in the list. So I just want to see what's the members for this distribution list now. So I just run this two again. You know, so the first one is to get the dynamic distribution list group name the all active users, and the second one is list the members of the you know 
the distribution is that's me run this one now so we set we see you know after we set up the new you know filter for this distribution list it only shows the you know active users with mailbox now so it only shows just all users you know active users with mailbox does not show the you know uh, resource mailbox and shared mailbox also the you know disabled user accounts you know mailbox yeah that's all what we want so thank you thanks for